pastor but i don't want to believe that is the cause of what is happening i um i do i do believe that um we must find a working relationship um, between us and you most times we as members of parliament listen to the community what is affecting us in order for us to proceed forward with certain legislation that we can pass in here and i think now more than ever that we have become uh i would not want to say country because it's still becoming an issue is either we are country or state but nevertheless i believe we are st martin and i look forward that the church and us can sit together um, may not be with legislation but with a message that we are on the same page where issues are affecting us in this community because there are greater issue on this island today that is affecting us besides a one day a gay ship came in here and leave yes it leaves um, whatever effects on our people but nevertheless our society is yawning for help because yes the pastor mentioned also one of the issues was the cost of living that is a major problem we are facing because the same churches themselves offers um, certain um, food certain assistance in our community when we can't uh, afford these things anymore the church takes up that slack um, how could we now assist the churches to continue or how could we now reduce that effect as members of parliament that the burden do not be fall on the churches I think those are the discussions we need to seriously sit and discuss amongst each other as much as possible and I I look forward and in us um, being able to discuss those issues because I don't want to come here today and be caught up with one discussion on just one issue and you're so right what you said you don't want it to make it sound as if that is the issue that we are focusing on because I don't believe that should be the message of today that tomorrow and this afternoon we hear in the media that becomes the top discussion in Parliament um, that should not have been what the zest of this meeting should have been about that is the reason why I ask myself um, this committee is about tourism economic affairs and public transportation and telecommunications um, where was those discussions fall apart where did they went and I believe that I am looking forward as soon as possible with a follow-up meeting where we could basically pinpoint the areas immediately how we can work together with you to solve some of our problems in our society because it's growing every day one after the other and by us not getting involved in dealing with it um, we self might be the victims of the ills of the problems that is happening in our society because I keep telling my colleagues um, today it might be them tomorrow it's gonna be us um, don't take it for granted that society now might turn on us as members in here who are not doing our job the right way that is the reason why I'm saying um, I look forward in us meeting on overall together where we would find a number of areas that we can work together and find a solution may not be in legislation but may be in concrete decisions that we both will go out there to deal with it together and solve some of our problems that we are facing I thank you thank you member of parliament Franz Richardson to be more efficient in time what I will do we have the president our president of parliament who would like to ask questions then we have member of parliament uh, Leroy De Weaver 
and then I'll come back over to the ministers and so we can try to wrap up. Thank you. Our President, Grisita Arundel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon to the St. Martin United Ministerial Foundation. Um, to be clear, the agenda point for today, good gentlemen and lady, is the discussion with you based on your request regarding the visit of the all gay <coughs> cruise uh, ships to St. Martin. Having said that, the statements um, and positions brought forward by, by members of Parliament, they were well noted, but we have to be clear as this body. We should be neither ashamed nor subtle, as my colleague Dr. Lord Richardson said, but we have to be clear as a body of Parliament representing the people. We have to be clear in what we accept or do not accept in our society, in a democracy which is based on the rules of law. That is what this body represents. And the, the topic and the other underlying topics that the chairman brought forward and the other members, of course these issues could be discussed in a subsequent meeting because the intention is that um, the, this, this committee prepares an advice or recommendation how to move forward. That is a procedure uh, to be followed. There may be persons listening or not, because it was announced, as is requested by this body, to keep this meeting with entities such as yours to come and express your opinion or concerns to Parliament. The internet is a very powerful tool. That is where I gather you receive your information from, what type of ship is coming to St. Martin. But we could use that internet as well in a different manner by stating what you stated that the persons are welcome, but that they have to adhere to our lifestyle, whatever that may be, <coughs> if you walk into the streets and see how some of our people walk around dressed. Parliament is here to listen in this body later in the Central Committee and maybe even later down the line by introducing some sort of legislation, but it has to be clear what type of legislation. And even before we reach that stage, we have the separation of powers, which means that the Council of Ministers, in first instance, has to issue um, a, a decree because they are the ones who are in charge of the day-to-day -day management of this country, and we supervise, we control. That is our primary task. So while we are here, and we are very happy to have um, welcome you based on the concerns that you expressed um, in, your, in your letter, it has to be clear that we cannot give any false expectations, as the pastor um, mentioned earlier, that we would tomorrow issue a statement or a law, because that's not the way it works. How to move on forward, an advice probably, recommendation how to uh, continue, but in the meantime, the world and our society must know that, um, at least from, from this side of the chair, we are a tolerant society while taking into consideration our specific way of life and also while taking into consideration, consideration what the church stands for. My humble recommendation would be um, from this meeting towards the, the chair is that we convey to the Council of Ministers the outcome of this, of this meeting and for them to issue a decree, a decision for future visits of these type of um, uh, ships that come to St. Martin so that everyone knows where we stand. But I don't think that the decision and or the intention is for government, the Council of Ministers, to tell the cruise ship industry that their passengers are not welcome on St. Martin. I look forward to the um, presentation, the holistic approach that was um, spoken about earlier. I believe it's um, Pastor Renamé Francis who's going to, a uh, minister, Minister Renamé Francis um, who is busy with that, so we're looking forward 
um, to hearing from you how we could address those different <coughs> other issues that affect our society. And one of those issues, um, knowing uh, what I, I have tried to uh, bring forward in our society is against domestic violence. You know, and I would like to see more of that as well, more, more um, information, more uh, support for that type of, um, of non-violence, of violence in our society on men and men, men and women, men on, 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 on children, um, et cetera. Guarding loved ones you may lose. I'm using part of my foundation's team. And um, I would love to see the church indeed work more towards that as well. There are a lot of things to be done here the gay, gay cruise ship issue was a catalyst to have you here again today. Um, it should be clear what we as, as Parliament um, is conveying out to the, to the general world that we are not saying that the ship cannot come here. But on the other hand, it is clear that we should convey to the Council of Ministers into, into taking your concerns into consideration that those guidelines are very clear when they are issued, when the schedule are being made, when ships, regardless who are on those ships, come and visit our shores. I thank you again for um, sending in your request, and this is what our body is for, and we're very happy to be here. I stayed in, in spite of my cold, especially to um, be part of this, of this meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, President Gracita Arundel. Member of Parliament, Leroy De Weaver. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, I think uh, it's important that the message that was brought here today is as understood clearly. I think the message brought to this committee and parliament is one not more specifically engineered to the gay crews or those persons and their lifestyle, but it is more the malaise of what is Hurt in St. Martin right now. And it is obviously clear that we cannot continue as a people under this type of situation because ultimately we will have a Sodom and Gomorrah on our hands. The good pastors here this morning is here to remind us about our commitments and our values as a people also. I think it is a very, very pointed reminder that as we go forward, St. Martin can no longer find itself in the type of things that we do every day and that we take it for granted. It is a clear checkpoint to us as parliamentarians that if we continue on this road, it is ultimately the road of destruction. So it is a friendly reminder to all of us to have the kind of affirmation from persons like yourself. And I think one of the recommendations, uh, Mr. Chairman, that I would, and I don't know how it would be possible, is that in a maybe an ad hoc manner that we would have at least, I would say quarterly, a type of a sit down with these good gentlemen. Because it would remind us as parliamentarians every day that we should develop policies and we, wish, we should restrict policies that will be detrimental to our people. There are policies that are right now on the books, for instance, the casino entrance. We can no longer sit back and not make sure that these policies are not enforced. If we are allowed to be in the casino three months, they should be three months. It should not be that every single day that we can have the same person come into the casino and they're not stopped. And I ask myself, that